everyone, welcome to Rose Kitchen. I'm Ro, haha. -ha. And um, I gotta tell you what I thought about today. Um, I wanted to make something simple for dinner. So funny, I was checking my email and I saw an email from Engine 2 and you all should know that Engine 2 blows it out of the water. I love them, that's what got me started on all this. They are fantastic. Oh, they sent a new recipe out and it was for just a, a baked stuffed potato. So I thought, you know, I have two baking potatoes sitting on the counter. I'm gonna go home, I'll throw them in the oven while I walk the dogs. It says to bake them for an hour. I usually bake my potatoes for an hour and a half, to be honest with you, because I like them real crunchy and, and real smooth and soft in the middle, and about 400 degrees. So I did that, I threw them in there. So first I was gonna buy barbecue sauce. I said, yeah, I'll just buy it, and you know, I'm not gonna use a whole lot, why not? And then I looked at the ingredients and it really bothered me, the oil in there, and uh, I just didn't like it. So I do happen to have a book, um, Homemade Vegan Pantry, the Art of Making Your Own Staples by Miyoko, Miyoko Shiner. Now, she is the queen of cheese, and I love this lady. And I've gotten to see her in person, and she is just fabulous. I said, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and make that. I'm, I'm, I've made my own ketchup out of her book. I made the mayo, and I've made the barbecue sauce before. But I thought, you know, I just got home from work. Do I really wanna do this? But I thought, yeah, I do. Uh, that would give me a chance to show it to you. And of course, you know me, I gotta put my own little tweak on it because I don't like all the ingredients that they use. So I'm gonna tell you everything that she uses and then I'm gonna show you what I, how I do it, okay? So I'll read hers off to you as we go, but I will um, tell you what I tweaked and put in mine, okay? I'm gonna put it in the food processor. Can you see that? No, you can't, move over. Here, stand there. Don't mind the TV in the background. I, I usually have it on um, for background noise, but I don't need noise, I got you, yay! Okay. So, let me read to you what it says in Miyoko's book, all right? She says, you need two cans of tomato paste. Well, I'm only making half a, half a portion, but I will tell you, she does tell you it will last two to three months in the fridge. But I don't know when the next time is gonna be that I will use barbecue So sauce. I got my spatula, so I'm only using one can of tomato paste, okay? So I'll put that in here. Let me measure it out, but you will hear me tell you the increments of what I used. Of course, this is gonna come out different from hers because I use a little bit of something I like and a little less of something I don't like, but then I'll put what I like. You know how that goes. You've done that before, haven't you? Of course you have. Okay, so I got all I can scrape out of this can. That's good. All righty, get that in. The full recipe is two cans, I use one. All right, so now I'm only gonna tell you, I'll tell you the full recipe and then you can figure it out for yourself. Okay, then she says a half a cup maple syrup or organic sugar, or coconut sugar, or more is desired. So I like maple syrup. So I put maple syrup in here, and I did of course half. Then the recipe calls for a third of a cup of soy sauce. I use tamari, it's the same thing, it's just vegan because there's no um, beef base to it. Where soy sauce, if you didn't know, has um, a beef base or something to it. It's, it's something with, it's not vegan. And then it, it called for a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. So I put that in here too. So there's apple cider vinegar in here. There's a tablespoon. She calls for two tablespoons of molasses. I put one. I love molasses. I probably could put two anyway. I love molasses. Okay. You can tell I like sweet, right? Okay. Then she has a half to a teaspoon of liquid smoke. I love liquid smoke. Jill and I uh, both agree on that. We love liquid smoke. So I use the pecan, and I actually did use a whole teaspoon, even though that wouldn't, that's more than half, you know. All right, six cloves of garlic. Oh, my garlic. I only took two, as much as I love garlic. I really didn't want to overpower it with garlic, okay? She, now she does call for two chipotle peppers an adobo sauce, canned, and then minced, but I don't do those, so that's not in my recipe. So two tablespoons of chili powder. Oh, gotta tell you again, I'm not a big chili powder fan, so boom, that's gone. Um, one tablespoon of smoked paprika. So since I didn't have the chili powder, I put a whole tablespoon of smoked paprika, I love smoked paprika, I love that. So I put that in there. And then two teaspoons, it calls for two teaspoons of cumin. I'll be honest with you, I only put a half a half a teaspoon in here. I love cumin, but I like it more with my Mexican dishes than I do with my barbecue sauce. I mean, I could, you know, it's gonna taste different no matter how you make it. And then a cup of water. So we're gonna go ahead and add all of that to the food processor. Oh, look at that. The molasses is sticking to the bottom. We can't have that, baby. Oh no, we gotta have all our molasses. Love that molasses. 
Okay. So you can be surprised how easy this is. I mean, granted, it sounds like it's a lot of work, but it really isn't. You measure everything out and you're good to do. But if you know you're going to make something, really, um, the best thing to do, you can prep everything the day ahead. And that's always more fun because for me, if I get the prep stuff out of the way, then the next day I just throw it all together and it's fantastic. Okay. I can hear the garlic rumbling, so I have to go so I don't hear the garlic anymore. All right, let's see what it looks like. It is messy, I will tell you that. Let me see if I like it. Oh, that's good. I like it. Yummy. All right, so remember I always told you how I'm kind of on the looking for the easy way to do things. I don't want to say the word lazy because I'm not really lazy. I mean, I made homemade barbecue sauce. Come on, give me credit for something here. But... The recipe called for um, peppers and onions. You know, I don't think the recipe called for onions, but I love onions. So I'm actually gonna use extra onion, which reminds me, I forgot to chop the onion. Oh, I thought I'd be all prepared for you guys. And look at that. I'm not completely prepared, shame on me. But it won't take me long. I turned the heat up on my pan because I'm gonna go ahead and um, get these sauteing and then I'll have everything ready to stuff in the potato. Now really, I'm gonna be making more than we need, but you know, you can use this mixture for a whole lot of things. And I'm gonna tell you one thing you wanna use it for is after you get this done, you can use half of it for the stuffed baked potatoes, and you can use the other half, throw in, throw in a couple handfuls of soy curls after you've um, soaked them and bring them to life. And then, you can put them in a baked potato too, or you can put them in a tortilla. Oh yeah, this will be good. This will be real good in a tortilla. Get those tortillas nice and warm and throw them in. All right, so I got my onion. I don't chop my onion too small because like I told you, I love onions. So, oh, like I said, the recipe called for just peppers, onions, and corn, and spinach. So I, I'm sorry, I do have that. But guess what? I don't feel like chopping everything. So let me show you what I did. Again, finding the easy way, not, not you know. I bought, these are already chopped red and green, probably yellow. Yeah, red, green, and yellow peppers, okay? So I just took a piece of those. I took some frozen spinach. I'm gonna be taking some frozen corn because that's all in the recipe. I remember now the corn was in there, so let me also take some of that. And then, I don't always like to throw my veggies in frozen because to me it's too much water. So I take all of those vegetables and let me just put, okay. And I know I'm making too much, but that's right. I put them all in a colander and then I run them under hot water. So that takes the frozenness out. It takes all of two minutes to do that, which is great. Now, I'm sure my pan is hot enough, so you're going to hear my, my favorite. Here we go. Nice. The recipe did not call for mushrooms, but I had them. I don't want them to go bad because most produce goes bad when I do it. So I've got my onions. Oh, I absolutely love the way they smell when they hit a hot pan. They're just so good. All right. They're browning. You can see that. I'm going to try to show you an onion that's brown. See if I can hold it up right. My spinach, my pepper medley, and my corn. Because that's what Engine 2 says to eat. And I love whatever they tell me to eat is good. After that, we'll saute these up. And I'm not going to keep you the whole time. I'm going to kind of bring you in on the tail end of everything so you don't have to sit there and wait for the onions like I do. Okay? So... I would say, I'll probably throw the mushrooms in now. Because the mushrooms have a natural water. Mushrooms will release their own water. It's a water-based plant. So you don't really need a lot of water in here right away because they're gonna release that liquid themselves. And then they'll start cooking with the mushrooms. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and let that saute. I have it on um, medium high. Like, so we'll go ahead and throw in the rest of the veggies, so hang in there. All right, so the onions and mushroom cooked down pretty good. Let me show you what I did. So I took those vegetables that were in the uh, strainer, 
and I plopped them in there, just flipped it over, baby, and dropped them right down into the pot. And look at that. Brown them up. Oh, can you see that? There it is, spinach. Maybe if I bring you in closer, it shows this way, because there's a lot of steam coming out of it. Anyway, anyway. So I'm just gonna let this sit here. Everything's cooked real well. I like how how browned it all got and how yummy. I mean, you can put any vegetables you want in there. It doesn't matter. So. All right, so now I'm just waiting for the potatoes to be done. So the potatoes are baking in the oven. Then I'll take them out. I'll scoop out the middle and I'll take a portion of this. I don't want to use all of it. I'll take a portion of this and mix it in with the mashed potato, the hot, nice, hot, uh, creamy middle. I'll restuff the potatoes. I'll put the barbecue sauce in the bowl with the, the potatoes and that. I don't want to make this with all barbecue sauce, although I probably will end up with that way with soy curls later. But anyway, and then so that's it for now. So um, I'll be back in a few minutes, um, take a bathroom break. I'm going to go ahead and um, get everything else set up. And then they pop back in the oven at 425 for 30 more minutes. To be honest with you, I'm not sure they'll take that long because I've got everything already hot. Okay? So that's the recipe for tonight. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll be back in a few minutes with Took the rest. the potatoes out of the oven. And now I'm ready to scoop them out. Sorry, leaning across you like that. Sorry about that. And I'm going to scoop them and put them in a bowl. And then we're going to, the vegetable mix, you know. So all we have left to do now is mix, restuff, and we're good. So let's go ahead and see what, um, Oh really, I can put in here whatever I want. I don't have to really look at it. Engine 2 gave me the the basics. So I'm just going to take some of this. I'm going to put like that much, I guess. I'll put half. That's probably a little more than half. That's right. I'll put that in there. Get that mixed up real good. You want it almost like mashed potatoes made with um, veggies in it, you know? So go like that. I'm going to get this recipe, of course, used eight potatoes, eight large potatoes, and I only used two, so I only used a fourth. So with nutritional yeast, he used a half a cup. So I'll be honest with you, I'm just gonna eyeball this, okay? So that looks good. Put as much or as little as you want. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't have to be exact. You know, there's no exact science to cooking. That's the beauty of cooking. And I'll be honest with you, I may even add just a little bit more nutritional yeast. I'm dying to stick a spoonful into my mouth. There's nothing saying I might not. But doesn't that look good? It's kind of like mashed potatoes and mixed with veggies. Isn't that awesome looking? I might even put these in a little uh, casserole and just bake them up. Mmm, good. Now we'll go ahead and add some of that nice, sweet barbecue sauce that we need. Again, I'm just going to eyeball it. I don't know what Engine 2 says, but... I'll make it just so it's kind of wet. Here, look in here and see what you think. You can see the consistency. You want it tight because you're going to put it back in the shell and bake it. But you don't want it too dry because when it bakes, you don't want it to dry out. So I'm going to add some more barbecue sauce. Okay. Looks good. These came out. Oh my gosh, look at that. I'm impressed. I can't believe I'm doing this on a weeknight. Oh my goodness. Is that not amazing? Okay, I've got a little bit of spinach in this bite. Oh, mm, that's good. It is good. Let me grab a let me grab a cookie sheet. We're gonna go ahead and set these up on a cookie sheet and stuff them. And then I think they put smoked paprika. And since I have that so much in my barbecue sauce, I'm not gonna worry about adding it to the mix. But I will sprinkle it on top with a little bit more nutritional yeast. So. Because let's face it, with the vegetables, you gotta, you've got you got to overstuff it. You know what I mean? You've just got to get it all in here. This looks fantastic. Man, this is going to be good for me. I'll have to put it in the microwave, but that would be disappointing. I'm going to stuff them first. Just traditional yeast is supposed to give it a cheesy flavor. So these are easy to overfill. Look at that. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle more nutritional yeast. This would be almost like you were doing, um, if you had baked potatoes and you put cheese on them. Well, this is our cheese, us plant-based eaters. We have our very own special cheese, loving it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle my smoked paprika. I'm afraid to turn it too much, so I don't wanna do too much, so I'll tap it. I like the way it comes out. Okay. And that's it. So I'm gonna put these in the oven. 
on a 425 degrees. Put them out of the oven. Let me show you what they look like. Look at that. And I have to tell you, I'm, there's a little hole in this one right here. I took a taste. They are fantastic. So, hope you enjoyed that. Um, it was fun doing this during the week. Uh, I will tell you this, I'm the little bit extra I have left over, I don't think I'm going to put barbecue sauce. Actually, I think I'm just going to warm it up and use it in tortillas for breakfast. Although I would like a potato in there. Oh, I have rice in the fridge with edamame in it. I'll throw rice in there. That'll be a fantastic breakfast in a nice tortilla. Oh, yeah. So, okay, guys. Well, thank you so much for coming to Rose Kitchen. Please be sure to share, to like and to make sure you subscribe and get others to subscribe with you. I'm looking to really build this up to uh, entertain as many as much as I can and also to inform. So thanks again and have a great night and we'll talk.